on the drive here on hole number three and we are going to start at the top of plus five and the different ring references for the different epochs we are going to do 6.9 top spin and three left spin we're looking to be around 372 to 378 um, in terms of the yard adjust max plus 20 p0 and we're going to use 1.7 ball left curl with just before circle drop over power so once we're done that we're going to hit perfect here you don't have to play with a p1 ball but you can you can play with any p1 plus ball um, and uh, but you do need to have a side spin three drive super consistent and we're getting uh, it up to where we want and now we're going to attack the pin with a sniper On the second shot, we are going to use three and a half top spin and one left spin. We are always going to be in landing position here, but obviously having a P2 plus ball will give you a, a better range and P1 ball, you are uh, limited to uh, plus five yards. And then it is important that your drive is absolutely bang on, which to be fair, the drive is actually really good. Zooming in like an absolute hero this time, half a green square through the hole. Um, we are going to uh, make an adjustment that is from plus three and plus four. We are doing one to one plus 0 0.3. And this is uh, what we classify is as the red angle. We're using just before circle break on the power and three clicks of right curl. The reason I'm choosing on the power here is to allow to aim at or through the hole instead of have to offset a lot or do a respin. Definitely not a shot that's gonna, I mean, we, I can't sit here and say that this is a money shot. We're gonna be close and around the hole with a perfect, but this hole is very difficult to drop from distance. Get our guide on patreon.com slash golfclashtommy.